Hi everybody and welcome to our shopping center. We're actually at the commissary here and we're picking up some of the items that we need. But I wanted to jump on really quick because of last night's situation with the soap getting in Joel's eyes and what I discovered was that just because that shampoo was botanical and supposedly didn't have harsh chemicals, when I looked it up on EWG, it actually had a lot of harsh chemicals that were connected to neurotoxicity, that was fragrances, that was possible carcinogenics, um, endocrine disruptors, and you name it. It was not actually a good choice for our family. So, here we are. We've actually, the title of my video is Think Dirty. And the reason why is because I'm using this fantastic app called Think Dirty Shop Clean. You can download this totally for free. My husband has an Android, I have an iPhone. And uh, you can download the app and you can use it for free to scan any of the items that you are looking at, especially right now we're looking at some cosmetics. So we're gonna let you see how this works. So hang on, here we go. So here we have the app and there's an option to download it and then there's an option to scan, open it, and then you're gonna scan your item. We've chosen um, two of these baby products to investigate and all you do is flip it around to the barcode and you use the barcode scanner to scan your item. You wanna go ahead and scan it? There you go. It only takes about eh, five seconds or so. And then, oh, so do you see the report? Alrighty, so here is the report. The thing about this video, which is better than last night's video, was in black and white because of the filter. You couldn't see the code, which was red, yellow, and green. Red is something that you want to avoid. Yellow is not great, but not super duper necessarily proven harmful. And then the green items are the items that they believe, the ingredients that they believe are okay. So in this product, we have basically perfume or fragrance that is added to the product. And this is why this item has an eight on the rating. You can see for the perfume, that's the worst rating. Now, we actually did the same thing, and there's two yellows. If you see, there's two yellows. We did the exact same thing with this product um, just a minute ago, and we scanned the back, and I don't know if it'll let us do it again really quick, but when we scanned this item, again, it does have fragrance. And if you look at the report, you can see one red, no yellow, and more green. So that's actually very encouraging. At least there's an option. Now, unfortunately, so the only supposed not, you know, green item in this product is the perfume, the fragrance. And I went to check because a lot of baby products are fragrance free, but unfortunately this one isn't. So that's kind of the drawback here. I looked to see if there were any fragrance free shampoos for kiddos and there weren't. Unfortunately, you know, that's just where we're at our commissary. So that's what, you know, our options are. At Target, I've seen a couple other brands, I think like Honest Brand or something like that. Um, Baby Gannix, I think is another one that they may have some um, other options and more organic ingredients as well. So that's something that, you know, I'm familiar with. But the reason why I make this video is because doTERRA just recently launched a baby, baby care line and the whole entire package was only $34, I think, for several different items. And when you look at these reports and you see like an eight for fragrance or something like that, the great thing is you can make note of that because the baby care line is so brand new, you may not find anything like that researched in a database already like EWG or here on the Think Dirty Shop Clean app. But you can actually just say, look up um, just a Johnson & Johnson brand or just whatever brand that you could think of. I'm not picking on anybody, I'm just saying just for research purposes look up the brands, see what um, chemicals are highlighted in the greens or the high toxic rate, write those down, and then look in the products that you're considering purchasing. In this case, if you're considering purchasing the doTERRA brand uh, baby care line, you will find none of those products, chemicals from the other lines that are having hazard, like attached and tagged to that item, you won't find those in the baby care line. So, 
this is great. I love that I'm informed. And I think anymore these days, people are a lot more aware that the environment, there are chemicals and toxins in the environment. And one of the best things you can do for your body is to support your immune system by decreasing your toxic load. And this is one way you can do it. When you're talking about little ones, their brains are still developing, especially teeny tiny ones. That blood brain barrier hasn't even completely formed. So some of these chemicals are circulating through the body can get up into the brain and no one really knows exactly how that affects brain development. The other thing that you should know, a lot of the chemicals that are added and additives that are added to different cosmetic care lines, they actually have a property called bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation means that over time, the tissues or the insides of the body will build up with that thing, whatever it is, a chemical or an additive or a preservative. And so just like your teeth, you're able to go through and scrub the plaque off your teeth. That builds up over time. You know, you go to the dentist, you can scrub that. But unfortunately, when it comes to these different additives or chemicals, you can't go in and scrub the organs. And then you may have a decreased function in a specific organ. And so these are just things that you want to be aware of. Um, what happened for us a few years back, we did some housework in our home and I had asked, because um, I knew they'd be using some chemicals, I asked them to air everything out. I had a dog who we put totally upstairs on the other different side of the house, but after that exposure to the chemicals that they used that were very harsh, he got very, very, very sick. And we took him in and for a while we didn't know what was going on. And then we did find out that he had nasal cancer. And um, that's not completely uncommon in a dog like him. So he had a genetic disposition for nasal cancer. But it also woke me up to the things that were chemicals that I had in my house. So those, you know, like plug-in type synthetic fragrances to fragrance in the house. Um, it was kind of maybe dusty or moldy and maybe his immune system was struggling because of that. But I was definitely using chemicals in my clothing, in his like bedding. Um, and then he just had this really intense exposure. And when I got home that day, I knew something was wrong. He was acting really, really anxious and just panting and like he had to get outside. And it was basically his way of telling me that he needed fresh air. Um, he'd been cooped up in the house and his chemicals were just circulating. And so we lost our sweet, sweet buddy, um, Papito. This was about five years ago, a little over five years ago. But when that happened, and I started doing my research, I'm like, oh my gosh, that was brand new carpet that he was laying on. Oh my gosh, I had these, you know, plugins and things. Um, I'm not talking brands, I'm just talking like the generic name of things that were synthetic fragrances to kind of mask the moldy, top, like dusty smell up there. And I didn't realize that that was actually potentially hazardous, especially for a dog like him. So lesson learned, and that's why I share these videos because I love, you know, our kids. We want to live a long, healthy life by the grace of God. And we love our little ones too. We're like fur babies. <laughs> we love them too. So, you know, feel free to share this video. Please download the app. It's totally free. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. The baby care line should be up again. We're hoping in August. That's what I read online. So, you know, I'll be stocking up on that. If you're a grandparent, you need something at your house so that when the grands come over, if you have a gift, for someone who's pregnant or just had a baby, this is a fantastic gift for them. Just, it's so worth the peace of mind to just not have to worry about these harsh chemicals and their potential hazardous side effects. All right guys, until next time, take care and have a great weekend.